All right. Today, we're doing full Tabata. We have seven exercises. We're staying with the same exercise for each round. So a little challenging today in regards to staying with the same exercise um, throughout the whole round. You need your weighted object. Um, if you have a band today, you guys can use a band with one of the exercises where you pull parts. If you don't, don't worry about it. You can do a weighted side lunge with that one. Um, and you do need a step today, a chair, a box, something stable to do step ups or box jumps. So your choice of whatever you have that's stable, okay? So week 11 is today, so Monday of week 11. Um, we're in it. We have a uh, few more weeks here till Thanksgiving. So next week we actually have a holiday on Wednesday, Veterans Day. So just giving you the heads up. So um, make all of the workouts Monday, Wednesday, next Monday. So then you can reward yourself with a day off, okay? All right, so Tabata, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We have seven exercises. The first exercise is a devil press. We haven't done this in a while, but we have done it before. So a devil press, basically you need two weighted objects and where it's a burpee with a, a clean and press, okay? So, when you have your weights down on the ground, uh, preferably you want them to out wide enough so your shoulders can fit down in between the dumbbells, okay? So with your dumbbells out to the side, you're gonna come down, down, push up, come up, hop out. I want your feet wide, wider than your dumbbells. So when you grab your dumbbells, you're gonna Basically swing them under the pelvis, drive the hips, clean, and press. Okay, bring the weights back down close to your body. We place the weights down, hop back. You do your push up, hop out, clean and press, okay? So that's our devil press. We have eight rounds of that, which is four minutes long. Then we go into our next exercise which is a step up or box jumps. You can choose what you wanna do, but whatever you choose, stick with the same exercise. So don't change halfway, okay? So step up we've done before, right leg up, right leg down, and then switch. All right, you're trying to maximize your reps in each, uh, each time you do it, each eight rounds, okay? So if you want to do the box, I'm not going to show you the box jump just because my step is so small, it's not safe. So we've done box jumps before. Just make sure once you get up into your box jump that you open up your hips all the way. Don't just stay down low, okay? Once you hop up, come up and open up the hips all the way, just as you would with the step up, okay? So you choose step ups or box jumps. We do that eight rounds or four minutes. Next exercise is a pistol squat. So I'm gonna do an assisted pistol squat using the bench. If you can go all the way down, uh, butt to your heel, go for it. If you need assistance and you need something a little bit higher, maybe you grab a pillow, a towel, another weight or weight plate and put it on your bench or step. So we're alternating down and up alternate legs all right so each time you're going down and up you're switching we're not staying with the same but we're going all eight rounds alternating legs okay so here try to keep that chest tall opposite leg is out and active all right and you stand keep your glute right under you option if you need to modify even more so with the step you can have that extended leg, the heel down, all right? So you're here, heel is down. So it makes it a lot easier. So try to challenge yourself with that one. Again, if you can go all the way down with that single leg, go all the way down with the single leg, all right? That's why I'm using 
I'm assisted because I can't go down all the way. All right. Next one is a split. So you're going to, we're basically going weight into explosive, kind of like what we've been doing throughout the semester. All right. So our split jump, down and up, down and up. If you want to add weight, dumbbells, you can add dumbbells to your weighted split jump. All right. Up to you with that explosive exercise. Exercise five is a side lunge, and we're alternating side lunge. If you have a band, pull apart, all right? So we're gonna go to one side, butt out, chest is up, and we're pulling apart as we come out, stepping in, out and in, all right? So we're alternating, pulling apart. That your arms should be out, shoulder height, not lower, not higher. So as you step out, shoulders down and back and you're pulling apart, back in, all right? If you don't have a band, take your weighted object and you're just gonna go side lunge with the weight, all right? Try to get down. Weight should be touching your toe if you have the weighted object. If you're going pull apart, sink into that knee that's bent. So don't short yourself range of motion there. Get down, try to get your hip crease parallel to your knee in that side lunge. Then we have a lateral shuffle. So I have cones out, you probably can't see because they're out of the camera view. So you're gonna go down. I want down and touch, cone, sock, whatever you have. So you're going back and forth. So the distance there, I would love for you guys to go uh, five yards back and forth, but some of you don't have that space, so just go with what you have. All right, so staying low and moving on your toes with that lateral shuffle. And then exercise seven is a toe tap or a shoulder tap plank. You can choose, again, stay with the same one throughout the round. So, on your toes, shoulders over your wrist. If you're doing a shoulder tap, keep that core tight and you're tapping shoulder, gently shifting your hips. They should have the smallest amount of hip movement as you're tapping the opposite shoulder. All right, so we're not leaning over, switching, okay? If you wanna do a toe tap, uh, I should say the further out your feet are, the more stable you're going to be. So with our toe tap, opposite hand to toe, tap. All right, so you're here. Hand shoulder with distance and tap extend. So you can choose whatever you want with that one. Again, keep it the same. Okay, so we have seven exercises and uh, we'll do a core finisher at the end. Okay, so let's get into it. Get whatever you need for the workout. I'm gonna make sure, make sure you guys are muted, but you're showing your face. I see a lot of faces today, it's nice to see. Thank you. Um, and make sure that you are muted so you are not being recorded. All right, cool. Here we go, let's start with our warm up. Let's start jogging in place. Let's jog it out. The greatest feeling you can get in a gym or the most satisfying feeling you can get in a gym is, is the, the pump, the pump. I'm so mean. Five, four, three, two, one. These are the sounds of one. DJ. Yeah. Get the blood flowing here. Five, four, three, two, one, still done, tap in. Five, four, three, two, one, jump rope. Alternate your feet on your toes, wrist circles. Keep your chest tall. Five, four, three, two, 
one, back to dog it up. We're gonna repeat this two more times, same exercises. Five, four, three, two, jumping jacks. Here we go, seal jacks up in. Jump rope. Last time, jog it up. Jets. Seal jets. Jump rope. Let's take off on two, land on two. Almost like pogos. Keep your arms to your side. Still wrist circles. We're going squat jacks. It's down, in. The chest tall. We're gonna twist our hips. Down, twist, twist. Great twist from your hips. Listen up the low back, listen up the hips. Three, two, one. Good, side lunge. Back to the center, side lunge. We're going side lunge and then elbow to knee. Same thing. Side lunge, elbow to knee. Core brace as you bring your elbow to your knee. Keep the chest tall. Last one. And then we're going to switch. Other side. Try to get the elbow past the knee. Think about your core to twist. Two more. All right. We're going wide stance. Hold. Squat. Use your arms to push the knees out. Chest is up. From here, we're crawling it out. Walk it out. Two push ups. Down dog. Walk your hands to your feet. Fold. Come up. Three more of those. Forward fold. Deep squat. Walk it out. Two push ups. Down dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. Come up. Open up the hips at the top. Fold. Two more. Squat. Walk it out. Four tight. Two push ups. Down dog. Heels to the ground. Walk it back. Come up. Last one, full. Deep squat. Walk it out. Two push ups. Down dog. Walk it back. Hold here. So we're going toes out, heels in. Opposite hand to toe. All right, so our windmill in here. Come up, squeeze at the top. Down and up. One more each side, we're gonna hold. Okay, let's hold down. Twist a little bit more. Find your thumb, look up. Good, back down. Opposite hand to toe, doesn't matter what side you're on. Up, find your thumb, twist. Heart center's opening to that side. Inhale, 
Exhale down. Walk your hands out. Bring your feet in. Draw all four. Squadroped. Make your spine. Shoulders over the wrist. Come into our fire hydrants. Out in. Toes up. Toes at the top of your shoe. Squeeze your glute medius. Bring your out. Out. Two. And one. Other side. Out in. Up and down. Keep the core tight. So as you lift the leg up, you're not shifting way over to the opposite side. Good. Two. And one. Back to the other side. Extend out. Knee up. And down. Extend out, engage, glutes, quads, toes should be pointing down to the ground. Leg out to the side, knee up to the chest, and down. Extend out. So it starts to slow, and then we get faster and faster. Five, four, three, two, and one. Out, turn the neck, leg out, knee the chest. And down. Extend out. Turn down the chest. And down. Start out slow. We'll get faster. Five, four, three, two, and one. Sink your glutes to your heels. Toes pointed. Drop your elbows down into the floor. Hands in prayer. As you drive your elbows down into the floor, drive them down and back, stretching out your lats. Thumb at the back of your head. So you should feel triceps under the shoulder blade, all this stretch. So we're really getting the lats, which can cause a lot of shoulder issues, all right? So if you're not feeling it as much here, then you can grab your step, and come off your step. So at the end of the session today, we're going off our step. All right, so wherever you want to go right now, get the lats soft. Deep breath in, exhale. One more in, drive the elbows down and back. Good, come up on, on to all fours. We're gonna reach, open up and reach through. Palm is up. Open up, inhale. Exhale, reach through. We have one more that we're going to hold. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hold. Palm is up. Think your glutes back and down. So the back of the shoulder, you should feel a release. Low back, release. Bring your glutes to your heels a little bit more. Come back up. Opposite side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, through. Inhale, reach. Exhale, through. Inhale. Last one. And then hold. Reaching through. Palm is up. Sink your glutes back, down. Back of the shoulder. Stretching. Deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Roll your toes under. Tippy toe. Toes to the hands. Bend the knees and slowly come up. All right, we're ready to go. Grab your dumbbells. Place them where you need them for your devil press. All right, so remember our devil press is our burpee and our clean. We have eight rounds of the same exercise. All right, ready and go. Here we go. Use your hips to bring the weight all the way up. Try to keep your reps consistent if you want to count and rest. So you don't have to count, but you can count if you're a numbers person. 
The whole idea is to be consistent or better every round. Let's go. Round two. Round two. Come on, power these. 10 seconds. Five. Rest. That's round two. We have round three. Four, three, two, one. Go. Devil press. Come on, stay tight as you lift from that push up and rest. Keep your core brace. Try to push up in one motion from that push up from the burpee. There we go. Round four, round four. Five seconds. Four. Rest. We're halfway. Three. Let's go. Round five, go. Think about your breath. Think about your core. As you bring the weight up, keep your spine neutral, not roll forward. Rest. So make sure that your butt is out, chest is up. All right, not roll forward. Here we go, round six, go. Round six. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Almost there. Two more rounds. Three, two, two one. Let's go. Round seven. Round seven. When you're bringing the weight up, try not to bring the hips way forward. Keep it tight through the core. Rest. We have one more set to go. Three, two, one. Go. Last 20 seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, two one, and rest. You have 30 seconds. Grab your water, shake it out, make sure your step is ready. Step up or box jump. We have 10 seconds. Foot on the whole step. I don't want to see your heel hanging off. Drive through the glute. Here we go. Round one, let's go. Open up the hips all the way at the top. You're choosing to do your box jumps. Explode, open the hips at the top. Rest. Five seconds. Here we go. Round two, exercise two. Let's go. Allow your arms to get involved in the movement. So you're jumping. Explode, use your arms. Offensive hand and foot. Drive up if you're stepping up. Rest. So if you started with the right both times, start with the left, and vice versa. Let's go. Switch it every time. 
If you can remove, if you have something on that step, a pillow, a weight plate, if you can remove it, do so. Rest. We're halfway. It's not meant to be easy. Tabatas are meant to challenge you. Here we go. Round five, let's go. Head up, chest up. Exhale, belly to the spine as you lift. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one, rest. Five seconds. Here we go, round six. Let's go. Put that down. Ground the whole foot. I don't want to see your heel lifting up. Ground all four corners. Drive through that heel and lift up. Rest. Two more. Three, two, here we go. Round seven. Round seven, come on. Try to be efficient. Stay with the same reps. Down and up. Chest up. Come on. Two, one, rest. One more. Here we go. Three, two, one. Last one for everyone. Make sure you make it on the on the step. Focus to the end. Drive. Dig deep right here. Come on. Three, two, one, and rest. All right. Remove your step. We're going split jump squat. If you want to add weight, you can add weight. If you want to add one side, add one, and you can alternate hands. So, down and up. I want you to think about the cycling quickly. All right? So, as you split, cycle quickly. All right, stay low. We don't have to go high. Stay low here. Cycling quickly. Go. Round one. Chest tall. Come up. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Five seconds. Round two. Stay low, cycle through. Here we go. Come on. Look forward. You don't need to look at your feet. Look forward, keep the chest tall. Chin down. Use your arms if you need it. Let's go. Three, two, one, rest. We're going two more rounds. We're staying low, and then we'll go high. Three, two, one. Here we go. Round three. Let's go. Let's go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Get down low. Don't cheat yourself. Three, two, one. Rest. You should be feeling it. Challenge yourself here. Let's go. Stay low. Round four. Come on. Two, one, rest. Our next four rounds, we're going for height. All right? Down and up. Use your arms to get some height. Here we go. Round five. Let's go. Let's go. Keep it up. Four, three, two, one, rest. Don't act like I never told you. Don't act like I never told you. 
Three more. Here we go. Height. Get up. Explode. Let's go. Use your arms. Five, four, three, two. I should see all of you guys jumping through the camera here. Rest. Rest. Here we go. Two more rounds. If your camera's at the ceiling, I should see your head bobbing up and down because you're getting height on that split jump. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Fight to the end. Let's go. Good. A little deeper, some of you. A little deeper. It's not a run. We're not doing a running man. Get down into a lunge. Last round. Let's go. I don't want this. All right? Down. Down. You want to split your arms. Fine. Down and up. Deep and up. Deep and up. One and rest. All right. We're going side lunge. Fifteen seconds. Pull apart. So we're pulling apart or wait. Both. We're alternating each side. Here we go. Side lunge. Let's go. Exercise five. Round one. As you're getting into that side lunge, sink, load the glute, power back, rest. Think about what you're doing. Focus on the lower body first, then we add upper body. Okay, this is a bonus. Let's go. Round two. Four, one, and rest. Stay with it. Working our frontal plane here. Changing angles. Let's go. Side lunge. Wait or pull apart. Sink. Get into that deep pocket. Power up. Three. Rest. We have weaker muscles doing that pull apart. Shake it out. Get back into it. Let's go. Step it out. Butt out. Chest is up. Power back. Alternate each side. You have five seconds. Nice. Get deeper, guys. Good. If you don't have anything, rest. Drive that knee up. Maybe elbow to knee, but get low. The focus is the side lunge part. Let's go. Get in it. Sink. Exercise five. Four, three, two, one. Two more rounds here. Two more rounds. Let's go. Side lunge. Pull apart or weight touching the toe. Let's go. Sink deep. Deep into that side lunge. So if you don't have anything, here, knee up, opposite. Two, one, and rest. And you can switch sides. All right? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Side lunge to the card. 
sink. Shoulders down and back on that pull apart. I know your shoulders are getting tired. Work them here. One and rest. We have one more set. It goes off. One more set. Here we go. Last set, 20 seconds. Challenge. Quality. Focus on quality this last set. Come on, I know you're tired. Challenge. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Shake it out, 30 seconds. We have our shuffle. So if you're counting your reps, you're counting each direction. Try to keep with the same number of reps each round. All right? Stay low, down, don't cross your feet. Here we go. Go, round one, let's go, round one. Arms, move. Try to maximize your space that you have in the area. If you're outside on a field, go five yards, all right? Rest, rest. That's round one. Here we go. Two, one, round two. Here we go. Transfer this into your sport. How can you make yourself better? How can you make yourself move quicker? Think about your shin angle, positive shin angle. And rest. As you're reaching, you should be already moving to the other side as you shuffle. One and go. Let's go. This is round three. Go on. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Rest here. We're halfway. Four more. Here we go. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Quick arms. It's going to help you move quicker. As you get down, bend your hips, your knees, ankle. Let's go. Two, one. Rest. We're on the down slope here. Two, one. Let's go. Round five. Come on. Move. Move. On your toes. Come on. Stay low. In that ready position. Moving. Moving. Come on. Stay with it here. And rest. Good. It's nice to see a lot of you guys working hard. Yes. Here we go. Get on it. Round six. Round six. Let's go. Go. Move. I'm watching you guys. Watch see you guys work. Yes. Try not to roll your shoulders shoulders forward. Let's go. Keep moving. Yes. And rest. I appreciate all of you guys showing your work. This is great. Here we go, round seven. Staying low. I'm seeing some of you guys as you're coming down, you're rolling forward and touching. I want chest up, butt down, chest up. Stay low. Here we go, 10 seconds. Stay low. You're on your toes. Moving here. Two, one, rest. We have one more round here. Last round, best round of this lateral shuffle. Let's go. Two, ready, position, and go. Let's go, let's go. Come on, move. Come on, stay with me. Go faster than me, let's go. Move, move. 
three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. All right, one more. We're on to our plane. Fifteen seconds. So remember, you have the option. Plank, shoulder tap, or toe touch. Shoulders over the wrist. Ready? And go. Whatever you choose, stick with it all eight rounds. Go. Go. Core. Brace. Shoulder. Hand. Shoulder with distance. As you bring your toe forward or tap your shoulder, belly button to the spine. You're resting. That was round one. Seven more to go. Think about what you're doing. Hands out. Screw your hands into the ground. Let's go. Round two. Let's go. Screw your hands into the ground once they land. And you're on your toes. Breathe it out. Two. One. Rest. Five seconds. Stay strong, stay focused. Here we go. Come on, this is our last exercise for our Tabata timing. Stay focused. Try not to shift the hips too far, too much. That means bracing your core. Three, two, one, and rest. So, abs tight, quads tight, glutes nice and strong. Driving back through the heels. One and go. Breathe it out. Stick it. If you're doing your shoulder taps, if I balance a bar across your back, that bar should be stable. It should be balanced and rest. It can rock slightly, but if it's topsy turvy, you need to tighten it up. Three, two, one, here we go. Breathe it out. Bring your toes out if you need a little bit more stability. Let's go. Two, one, and rest. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. Shake it out. We're going to do a core. Core finisher. We have Russian twists. Weighted or not weighted. All right, so. With your Russian twist, you can go heels down. We've done this before, chest is up, weighted, not weighted. 
All right, watch your knuckles hit the ground. If you wanna go more advanced, legs up, you're gonna slightly lean back a little bit. You can go weighted or not weighted. You choose, all right, whatever one. We're going 30 seconds. Then we have arc rock, all right? So our arc rock, biceps by our ears, thumbs up. Squeeze your glutes, pelvis into the ground. Toes pointed, and we go lower, upper. 30 seconds, and then the last one, flip over, and we go toe, toe tap, V up. All right, so if you can't do V up, bend your knees and tap your uh, knees bent. All right, so three exercises, core finisher, 30 seconds each, three rounds. Exercise one, Russian twist. Ready? And go. There we go. Russian twist. Side to side. Side to side. Weight or no weight. You choose. Legs down, legs up. You choose. Stay strong here. So I'd rather you do a better pose, uh, a better sit up or a better Russian twist than add weight. All right, if you can't, if weight's too much, drop that weight. Three, two, one, rest. All right, I want quality here. Quality core exercises. Roll into your belly. We're doing our arc rock. So rock it out, not hold today. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Rock. So think about thumbs up, extending all the way through the posterior chain in your body. This distance, chin to chest, 15 seconds. I want chin tucked, this distance, chin to chest. Imagine you're holding an apple between your chin. Come on, rock it out. Rest, roll onto your back. We're going V-ups. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. 30 seconds of V-ups. If you want to make it harder, drop, don't drop your heels down. Keep them hovered over the ground. Fifteen. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. That's round one, we have two more rounds. Russian twist. So again, what I was mentioning, drop the weight. If you can't get the twist right, then modify by dropping the weight and get a better twist. Here we go, 30 seconds. Keep that chest tall. We're slightly leaning back. Feel your obliques working here. If you're trying to work too hard, bring the heels down if you're not getting it. If you feel pressure in your back, heels come down. Three, two, one, rest. On your belly, legs together, toes pointed, squeeze your glutes, arms extended, biceps by the ears. Ready. Three. Two, one, arc rock. Breathe it out. These should be getting better. Every time we do these, you should feel stronger and more in unison. I know the first time you guys did this, you some of you look like dead fish. So we're rocking, rocking. Get that muscle nerve stimulation, rock. Ready and rest. You should feel a lot more coordinated with the arc rock. All right, V up, five seconds, four, three, two, one, here we go, V up. Twenty seconds. 
15. Stay tall. If you need to modify, bend the knees. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Last round. Here we are, last round. Russian twist, if you wanna add weight and keep your heels down, add weight, keep your heels down. Keep that chest tall. Let's go, last set, 30. Twenty seconds. Keep that chest tall. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. All right. Last set of arc. Arc rock. Stay long here. And go. 30 seconds. Rock it out here. Twenty seconds. Come on. Get that chin tucked. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Last one. Last ab. Stay tall, stay strong. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job, you guys. Nice work. Roll onto your stomach. Let's stretch it out. Come into Sphinx pose. Forearms on the ground. Pelvis on the ground. Legs together. Toes pointed. Draw the chest forward and up. And then shoulders down. Breathe it out. Start to slowly bring the heart rate down. Let's go into our reverse twist. Right arm walks forward, left hand by your chest. Bring that left knee up, extend the left arm, inhale up, exhale back. Deep breaths here. Feel your low back, chest, shoulder, and bicep. Deep breath in all the way. Exhale completely. Inhale. And then release. Left arm walks forward, right hand by your chest. Right knee up, extend the right arm, inhale up, exhale back. Deep breath in. Exhale completely. Deep breath in again. Exhale, release. Push into extended child pose. On your knees, glutes to your heels. Hands walk forward. As you walk your hands forward, you should feel your glutes sink a little closer to your heels. Deep breath. Inhale, fill the belly, the rib cage, and the chest. Exhale completely. Drop your elbows onto the ground, hands to prayer and then bring your thumbs to the nape of your neck. Deep breath in, exhale, 
slowly walk it up, grab your step if it's convenient to grab. You're gonna drive the elbows down on that step, stretching out the lats. We did this at the beginning. Sink your glutes down and elbows down. So I'm trying to pull my shoulders down away from my ears and my hands back behind my head. Really trying to open up the shoulder girdle where the lats get really, really tight and can cause some shoulder issues. So most of us are really tight through the lats. Deep breath in, exhale. One more breath in, exhale, release. And then slowly come forward into a half kneeling position. Coming forward into that hip flexor stretch. My right leg is forward. I'm gonna bring my left elbow outside my right knee. Prayer twist. Inhale completely. Exhale. Inhale. And release. Switch. Lunge, hip flexor, tuck the tail, out, opposite elbow outside the knee, lengthen, pushing my elbow into the knee, lengthening the torso, gazing back, deep breaths, three of these. Almost done here, stick with the stretch. Inhale completely, exhale, release. Step all the way forward. Forward fold, heel to your feet to touch. Bring your elbows behind the knees, bend your knees, nose to your knees. And then as you slowly begin to straighten the legs, draw your forearms down the lower leg, tight fold. Release the hands, bend the knees even more, let's slowly roll up. Let's go quad stretch. Doesn't matter what foot. Grab the shoelaces here. Keep the knees parallel, not winging out to the side. So from here, we're gonna go down, touch the toe. Soft, straight leg, soften that knee. Come down, load that hamstring and up and switch, quad stretch. Hold for a moment. Knees parallel, slowly come down, soften that straight leg, soften the knee, come down, touch, load the hamstring, come up, and release, shake it out, inhale, reach, exhale down, good job you guys, you guys are done today, have a great Monday, I will see you on Wednesday, thanks guys. Thank you coach. Thank you. Thank you.